This is Ben from Life in 360, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys my favorite light stand that I use to get my camera up really, really high whenever I want next level results with my 360 photos and videos. So a light stand is really handy accessory to have in your 360 shooting kit because it just does allow you to set up your camera and leave if you don't want to be in the photo or video or if you just want a really high vantage point with a minimal footprint. A light stand is a really good way to go and I found this awesome light stand on Amazon. It's called the Manfrotto 5001B. I will put a link down in the description but I just want to show you guys how cool this is. When it came in the mail, I was absolutely blown away because this is a light stand that can fit in a backpack. I've been carrying it around in my backpack all day. Look at that, that's not big. That's tiny, maybe a foot wide. Um, yet I think you're going to be amazed at how high it goes. Luckily the legs um, actually collapse to be quite close to each other. So you're not going to see too much of a presence of it underneath the camera. I've got my Xiaomi Mijia Mi Sphere here. And because the light stand has a one quarter inch tripod thread, it will go straight on as will basically any 360 camera that has the inbuilt thread. And in this example, I'm going to show you guys how effective raising the camera up a little bit is to completely changing your perspective. So I'm gonna change it into video mode and press record. Let's do this. So that camera is really high. Can you believe that? This fit in my backpack and now it's expanding to maybe eight feet tall. That's huge. Um, so this is going to be a really good tool if you do want to get really high for photos or videos, or if you do want to hide it somewhere. So like next to a pole or a beam or in a shadow somewhere. One thing you will need to keep in mind is that whenever you're extending any kind of light stand or selfie stick up really high, you are going to create a shadow, which is very annoying. You can paint that out in Photoshop or Snapseed or whatever editing program you use, but essentially this is something that is an issue for any kind of 360 photography is shadows. No matter what you're doing, um, they're always going to be there. Something I find that helps a little bit is shooting around the time of day when the sun is above you. Yes, that's probably a bit too much to ask, so you will probably have to get used to painting shadows out. I do it with basically every tiny planet photo I take. I paint out the shadows because I find them very annoying. But if you're shooting indoors or in a controlled lighting situation, which you can easily find outside, um, this light stand is going to be awesome because it extends really high and it compacts really small. And this is an affordable light stand. I got it for under $100. This is just an awesome little companion to your 360 shooting kit. Um, and you could also hypothetically use this as a selfie stick. If you extend it all the way up and held it above your head, you're going to get the same results as a selfie stick, but you get 10 times as high. Um, you don't always need to get high, but in certain situations it helps. It just depends on your landscape. There's a time and a place to shoot low, shoot in the middle and shoot high. So you will get a feel for that once you've shot enough photos and videos and made enough mistakes like I have. You kind of get an instinct for what kind of camera setup is best suited to each situation. All right, guys, I hope this was helpful. I'll put this down in the description, a link to where you can find it on Amazon. Again, it's the Manfrotto 5001B light stand, and this is just excellent. I've been loving it so far. It's really compact. I took this on the plane with me from Sydney to Melbourne. There's no issues, it just fit in my backpack, and I know I'm going to be using this for a long time to come. Don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube if you haven't already. I'm also on Instagram, at Ben Claremont, as well as Facebook, facebook.com slash life in 360 photo. I'm also on Twitter as well, at Life in 360 Photo, but I'm, let's just say that I'm not gonna be known for my tweets. I'm not the world's best tweet writer. I'm still figuring it out. I like rambling on for a while and to summarize the complexities of my human condition in 140 characters or less is just something I find extremely difficult. So you don't have to follow me on Twitter. It's all good. All right, guys, till next time, keep capturing your world in 360. This has been your boy, Ben Claremont, and I'll see you in the next video.